I think, you know, as first world citizens, we use a lot. Glass containers, toothbrushes, contact lens blister packs. You really don't notice how much plastic's actually there. Snack pouches, markers, dry erase markers, like stuff you find in the classroom. Recycling at Jesuit is front and center. The normal stuff, paper and cans, but these are new. Bins to collect odd plastics brought from home by students that can't go to the city curbside. It's destined for this conveyor belt across the country in New Jersey. A revolutionary company called TerraCycle is teaming up with schools and businesses nationwide to get those drink pouches or markers shipped here. They're shredded into tiny bits, then pummeled into pellets. Those pellets are bought by other companies to be made into new plastic products. Gardening or garbage cans, frisbees, plates, the options are endless. So ideally we're going towards being a zero waste school, which is a huge undertaking because it means that everything that we take into the school has an end purpose and an end life. It's becoming a movement that the kids are getting behind. A few years ago, the school started an environmental science elective class. We made a water filter and kind of like studied uh, microplastics in the ocean. And that kind of inspired me to like look at what I um, throw away and like how that pretty much ends up in the ocean. Yeah, it is definitely a mindset shift. I think it has to do with um, you know, your perception of like, when you throw something away, what happens to that, you know? You can see students applying what they have learned and really internalizing it and recognizing that their decisions actually matter. Becoming zero waste will realistically be a 10-year process, but they could become the first Oregon school to do it. They're already switching to refillable dry erase markers, yeah. looking at pumps instead of packets for ketchup and mustard. And yes, straws are going bye-bye. <laughs> Students are on board, knowing the future relies on them. Like if my generation doesn't start fixing all our problems, like nobody's going to fix it. Like now is the time. In Portland, Nina Melhoff, KGW News.